Here is Sam Hunkler. Sam Hunkler, he's running for governor. Guess which state? All right, Sam Hunkler is not going to win whatever election he is a part of. He's not going to win any election ever. He will never win any election. <laughs> LePage. I had some notes about LePage and uh, Mills. So let's just uh, type it in, right? Maine gubernatorial, gubernatorial election. We can have, uh, let's pull up LePage. Do we have some... LePage highlights. Let's just type in LePage highlights. Let's see what we get with that. But the governor of Maine is Janet Mills. So Janet Mills versus LePage. Soccer, basketball. Okay, here's something. Former Governor Paul LePage announces his candidacy. Civic Center as Maine's former governor made his intentions known. I am running to be next, the next governor of Maine. With your help, we can win this race. Republican Paul LePage receiving multiple endorsements at his campaign kickoff Wednesday from a number of state politicians, retired U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Travis Mills, and even Senator... Everybody, everybody loves Paul LePage. Everybody, except for, you know, Janet Mills and and, of course, those who, who don't love him. Those people don't love him either. Janet Mills for governor. Let's see here. Two months ago, three years ago, six months ago. Stay of the state. Inaugural address. Response to the Roe v. Wade. Let's check out the inaugural address. Okay, here we go. This is the governor of Maine. This is the state with all the lobsters. And they used to have ranked choice voting. Well, they were doing ranked choice voting, but then they didn't do ranked choice voting. And those 4,346 friends of mine on Facebook. I also draw your attention, a more serious thing, to the empty chair, empty seat in the military section, which recognizes and honors all main service members who are currently deployed. Let's get into the heart of it. Let's see what uh, what the hell are we talking about at the inauguration. Temperatures fluctuating, the sea levels rising, endangering our shellfish industry. While our forests are less suitable for spruce and fir and more suitable for ticks. Climate change is threatening our jobs, damaging our health and attacking our historic relationship to the land and the sea we love. Tonight I say enough. Enough with studies, talk, and debate. It is time to act. It sounds like a, a rally, but it's her inaugural address, right? So she got elected, and, you know, uh, that sounds exciting. I don't know. But what have you done for me lately? Huh? What have you done for me lately? And has she helped Maine become the best Maine, that Maine can never be. Most popular problem in health care. Uh, Janet Mills for Maine. This one got almost half a million views. When I married my late husband, who was a widower, I took on his beautiful daughters as my own. The 
chaos of raising five girls while working full time didn't exactly prepare me to govern during turbulent times, but it helped. I learned to listen and work together because no one has a monopoly on solutions in a family or in a state. That's why we brought Democrats, Republicans, and Independents together to move Maine forward. So that's nice. I've been kind of biased towards Janet Mills. Let's take a look at, let's try to give this Paul LePage the best, you know, Paul Lee Page. What's the, let's give him his best. Let's go ahead and give him the Paul LePage if it pops up here. And then I guess I'll do Vermont and Massachusetts. Vermont, Wyoming, there's a, somebody, there's a progressive in Wyoming, which is shocking. Shocking. Paula Page isn't coming up, and you know what? He's probably going to lose. She's already a popular governor. He seems like he's just kind of an asshole, and he's just kind of a generic asshole. It doesn't seem like he's, like, bringing back a whole bunch of things. He's like, hey, I used to be, he's just kind of a generic Republican, really. He called himself the, he was Trump before Trump or some shit. The main gubernatorial de debate, 2014. Let's see if we could get, this is taking too long. 